is Shannon, I'm going to put the spotlight for you. So, okay. So Emily, Shannon's in your big picture, right? Yes. All right. So Shannon, you can unmute. You don't let me mute. All right, let me get set up. Okay. Okay, that might be actually too much. Okay, how is that, Erica? Does that look okay? That looks. That looks good. Okay, let me get her. So I feed when she lays down and then I am a right hander. So I dremel with my right, with my right hand and I pick up the foot. I pick up the foot with my left hand. I have the dremel in my right hand and I use my left hand to push the hair back and I dremel in front of the foot. And so I don't do a blind nail dremel. I actually good. I look at the nail, the like while I'm dremeling. So for this side, I usually sit with like whatever leg out. Um, so for this side, I'm able to just look at the nail. Uh, good. Um, when I get to her left side, um, I sometimes have to put the leg up here on my leg and use the Dremel this way. Um, I guess she just doesn't have as much mobility in that arm. I'm not sure, but sometimes I have trouble seeing underneath the, underneath the arm. Good. And it also, it allows you to apply a little pressure, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I can like support the foot like on my leg. Um, I don't do that all the time. Just, just sometimes. Sometimes. And um, I usually have been doing um, the nail, like I'll do the top of the nail and then feed, like say good and then feed. And then I'll do the bottom of the nail and then say good and then feed. And then I'll do this, each of the sides and both of those are each a good and a feed. Um, and then you sometimes I'll give her a break after the front pause um, if she's starting to um, like if I have to spend a little longer on her nails. Um, so then she naturally just lays over on that hip typically. So that's the side that I go on to do her back feet. Um, so then what I do is I crawl over here. And then I move my food so that I move my food on this side. So she still knows that it's there. Um, and she's kind of facing, oh, wow. oh, sorry. So she's kind of facing the food. So this front foot, I'm just able to pick up. Good. And it's actually, um, kind of more like nicer because you can see the bottom of the nails in this position. Um, so I find it's easier to dremel this foot um, as opposed to the front. Good. And, and this then, is one of this is one of the changes we made. Yes. You putting it on your body, right? Yeah. Yep. So when I first started um, our dremeling routine, like with before Erica, she was in a sit and I was asking for a paw and I was dremeling the nails that way. And then when I did her back feet, I would ask for a stand and then I would do dremel her back feet. But we found in the first round, well, and the second round that she doesn't really, um, didn't really like the stand very much. So we asked so we um changed it to a down um so then to do her other leg oh my gosh my hands are in the way sorry so then to do her other leg 
Um, I just want you to be able to see. So she's pretty over on her hip right now, but you kind of have to find the foot. And then you see the foot and then I kind of do pull it through and then I'll put it good. And then like once I'm able to pull it all the way through is when I say good and feed. And then once you pull it all the way through, then you can put it up on your leg. And then I have to scoot in more. And then you can see all of the nails and like Dremel each nail, good. And um, I think that's pretty much it. I think that's, I think that's my whole dremeling routine. Good. No, and it's a really good example of a down, of a down position. I think this is really, um, this is how I used to do it with my older noose before jive. And I just feel like this ends up being one of the best ways of doing it with a down. So I, this was good. A really good example, Shannon. Thank you for walking us through that. I appreciate it so much. All right. Um, Thank you again, Shannon. That was great. Yeah. Good.